What's up, guys? This is Manoj Shukani. I welcome you all on behalf of the Edupedia world. It's been a fantastic morning outside, and I'm sure that you guys must be enjoying your life to the fullest, guys. Certainly, you are. So, how's your preparation going on with the remaining subjects? How's your preparation going on with SFM? Is it going good? Wonderful, guys. So, uh, this is going to be the seventh video presentation in which I'm going to discuss with you the remaining. questions which have already been asked with respect to the topic of derivatives this is going to be the final video of this particular chapter by now i am hoping that certainly you guys have revised your topics completely and surely you are thorough with the concepts whatever the kind of uh, things that institute expects out of you guys i have made you understand each one of that particular thing so i just hope that you are retaining your topics time and again because that is something which is extremely imperative for each one of you don't skip on that guys remember it so let's mark the beginning of this particular presentation which is going to be the final conclusion of derivatives and i hope you guys are going to be liking it like anything so the first question of the day will be this question was asked in ce final examination for may 2013 and it says On January one, two thousand and thirteen, an investor has a portfolio of five shares as given below. They have provided us a particular table which says security A, B, C, D, E. The price has been provided to us, guys. Uh, the security A has is having basically a price of three forty nine point three zero. B security is having a price of four eighty point five zero. C security is having a price of five ninety three point five two, and security number D. is having a price of 734.70 security number e is having a price of 824.85 they have also provided us the number of shares that the person is already holding with respect to these five different stocks so it's 5000 for security a 7000 for security b 8000 for c 10000 for d and 2000 for e and at the same time they have also provided us the risk which is the beta For each of these security, one point one five, one zero point four zero, zero point nine zero, zero point nine five, and zero point eight five for respective A to E securities. Clear, guys. Sorted with the table. Cool. So, what is expected out of us to perform in this particular question? They have also mentioned to us that the cost of capital to the investor is going to be ten point five percent per annum. We are supposed to calculate number one, the beta of the portfolio. what is going to be the overall beta of his portfolio sorted number 2 we are supposed to provide them the theoretical value of the nifty futures for february 2013 number 3 what uh, should be the number of contracts of nifty the investor needs to sell in order to get a full hedge until february for his portfolio if the current value of nifty is 5900 and Nifty futures have a minimum trade lot requirement of two hundred units. Assume that the futures are trading at their fair value. And lastly, the number of future contracts the investor should trade if he desires to reduce the beta of his portfolios to zero point six. What should be the number of future contracts? Clear, guys. This is the question which was asked in CA final examination for May two thousand thirteen. Trust me for one thing. This looks a bit trickier one. It's not like that. It's a very simple question. The only thing is they are expecting you to have a good length of your answers. Simple. It's a lengthy question, but not that difficult one. Have faith on yourself, and yes, you'll be able to achieve and solve it very properly. Trust me with this thing. Stay empowered, guys. Now. uh let's mark the beginning with the first part which comes out to be what should be the beta of his portfolio without looking at the solution part let's understand the question here itself that will give you the confidence of handling it really well in your examinations beta of his portfolio guys we have been provided with this table which is security a to e okay they have provided us the prices they have provided us the number of shares they have provided us the individual beta all we need to do is just check and calculate the overall portfolio beta what needs to be done is multiply your price of security a with the number of shares that you are having okay that will basically provide you the valuation of your portfolio of a particular stock in your portfolio okay what is your valuation the, the kind of money that you have invested 
in one particular stock in the overall portfolio that will be uh, calculated with this step only so multiply your prices of each security with its respective number of shares you will get the amount which you have invested in one particular security clear guys sorted wonderful now all you need to do is just and just get the total figure which is the overall value of your portfolio okay now you need to get the percentage which is the amount of holding you are having in terms of percentage with respect to one single security over its overall portfolio okay so the percentage that you will be able to get with this particular stuff is multiply your security A's price with it number of shares okay and divide the figure which you will come to calculate with this particular stuff with the overall portfolio value okay and then you will come to a conclusion that you are holding some certain percentage let's say 0.8 percent or 0.75 percent of your overall portfolio with security a and similar thing needs to be done for security b c d and e and then all you need to do is just multiply your individual holding percentage that you just calculated with this last step with its respective beta which is 1.15 0.4 0.90 0.95 and 0.85 for these five respective securities multiply them with each one of them uh, their holding percentage and then you will get to a conclusion of obtaining the overall portfolio beta that is what is required to be done as far as first part is concerned now let's move to the solution part in order to understand in a better way beta of the portfolio clear guys simple security a to e prices have been provided to us shares have been provided to us overall beta is available to us we just need to obtain the value just multiply your price with your respective shares you'll get the value add in totality at the last of it the overall value that you have invested in your portfolio it comes out to be 1 crore 88 lakh 54860 rupees okay now in order to obtain this particular proportion you need to get this proportion which i was referring to okay this this is nothing but your proportion of your overall uh, the amount which have you have invested in your particular security divided by the overall portfolio size so 0.093 would be the valuation if in case you are dividing securities a's value which is 17 lakh 46500 rupees with the overall portfolio value which is 1 lakh or oh, 1 crore 88 lakh 54860 so you will come to a proportion of 0.093 on the similar lines you just need to divide the value which you obtain for security b with its overall portfolio value you will come to a proportion of 0.178 for security b and on the similar lines 0.252 0.390 and 0.087 for security c d and e so this is the proportion and calculate at the last point that the proportion comes out to be total one okay that is simple so the value of the portfolio we just obtained which is almost approximately 1.89 crores in order to get the beta of the portfolio all you need to do is just multiply a securities respective beta with its respective proportion so what i meant by this particular stuff is for in order to obtain uh, the overall size overall beta you just need to multiply security a's beta with its respective proportion which is 0.093 add to it security b's beta which is 0 0.40 multiply the same with its overall proportion which is 0 0.178 and just multiply on the similar lines security b's c's beta with its proportion security d's beta with its proportion and security e's beta with its proportion and you'll get the overall beta of the portfolio which comes out to be 0 0.849 this was a very simple stuff which was asked as part one to this question clear guys sorted wonderful now coming on to the theoretical value of the future nifty futures for february 2013 i would really like to tell you something okay guys in our uh, ca curriculum okay the institute isn't habitual of providing you the tables on uh, on a separate sheet basis like during your bcom examinations you must have seen that usually a log table is provided at the end of the question paper or you can get the same collect the same from uh, the vigilator which is available over there and uh, get the table from them and sort your questions okay as far as ca final examination is concerned usually what is the practice is 99.9% .9 okay you will be getting your assumptions right there in the question itself okay so here also in this particular question they have provided us 
the assumptions which is that the number of days in a year are required to be treated as 365 they have provided us again a given figure which is the index 1.105 will be equal to 0.0998 and e to the power of 0.015858 will be equal to 1.01598 so now since they have already provided us this uh, figure of e to the power of something 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 we can sim simply rely on to this particular data and what is required to be done is a very simple stuff which is just and just multiply the amount which they have provided to us that the current uh, value of the nifty okay which is available to us in the part c they have provided us that the current value of nifty is 5900 okay just multiply 1.01598 with it and you'll get the theoretical value of nifty futures for february 2013 nothing beyond that is required to be done it's a very simple stuff you got your spot rate which is a spot index market rate which is 5900 they are providing you the rt which is the rate of risk free return a return on uh, on risk free rate basis multiply the same with the time period so they have already provided you this final conclusion figure in the form of e to the power of 0.015858 which comes out to be 1.01598 so technically you just need to multiply it here and you'll get the figure which is 5994 simple stuff no uh, requirement of any hard and fast bigger data to be re recapitulated and incorporated here in the presentation it's very simple just incorporate this thing because the future uh, value if i'll talk about the future realistic theoretical value of any of the future it is nothing but your spot multiplied by e to the power of rt in case there is a dividend you just need to uh, subtract the same with your rate of return risk free rate of return that's it in this particular scenario there is no dividend so we just need to go ahead with s to the uh, in multiplied by e to the power of rt e to the power of rt is already available with us which is 0 0.15858 whose value in rupee terms comes out to be 1.01598 so technically you just multiply it with your spot price which is 550900 and you'll come to a figure of 5954 that's it over with this one now comes to be the third part which says the number of contracts of nifty the investor needs to sell in order to get a full hedge until february or his portfolio if the current value of nifty is 5900 and nifty futures have a minimum trade lot size requirement of 200 units we need to assume that the futures are trading at their fair value so guys um, we have been provided to us in the question itself and we have calculated the beta on this portfolio and we got the figure in as 0 0.849 for our beta okay so we can simply say that we need to short our position in such a way okay we need to sell in order to get a full hedge in such a way that our beta requirement actually gets matched with our overall requirement since our beta is 0 0.849 i can simply vouch for this one thing which is the security the overall security uh, uh, security is wherein we have invested the overall beta is slightly lower than what is available in the market which is one so our securities our portfolio is a bit less riskier than the market so simply again since we our securities are a bit uh, less riskier so we are supposed to short a bit lower amount and in that case also we'll get a full hedge simple guys so for hedging 1.89 crore fully we need to sell the nifty futures worth rupees uh, 0.84 times of the value of the portfolio simple so 0.849 multiplied by 1.89 crores which comes out to be 1.60 crores so if in case we are selling the securities with the valuation of 1.60 crores we can simply say that we have actually hedged our position completely against 1.89 crores of buying it's as simple as that so this is going to be the hedging position for it now what all is the number of contracts that we need to uh, sell okay in order to hedge our position because we are selling it out because it's a nifty futures so there are certain contracts because it there it has a lot size requirement so we need to fulfill that as well guys so 1.60 crores is the amount that you'll be shedding out of your pocket okay in order to uh, uh, we need to sell the nifty futures for this particular amount divide the same with the stock uh, stock future price which will be there in the market after a certain period of time which 
we just calculated in our last step which was 5994 and what is the lot size requirement for this particular question it is 200 simple so 1.60 crores divide the same with 5994 multiply it with 200 and you'll get a figure of 13 contracts approximately so you need to short your nifty futures approximately with 13 contracts simple guys that is what it was expected to be done in this particular part of this question lastly it says the number of future contracts the investor should trade if he desires to reduce the beta of his portfolios to 0.6 now they're basically telling you that how many uh, future contracts the investor should trade in okay because the uh, he wants to reduce its overall beta to 0.6 currently the beta is 0.849 we are aware of it but now the trader is having this feeling that he again wants to even further reduce his risk so it can be done right it can surely be done how it can be done it can only be done wherein you can invest your amount okay with some securities which are less risky number one or you need to reduce your overall size okay you need to reduce your overall uh, portfolio okay you need to sell some nifty futures only then your overall portfolio beta will come down these are the only two ways in this particular question they haven't provided us any uh, assumption or requirement that the person is going to be willing to buy some other security with lesser beta so that's not available so option one is certainly getting rejected over here the only thing we are left with is we need to sell our futures okay we need to sell our futures to certain extent wherein the beta of the overall uh, portfolio will be reduced from 0 0.89 to 0 0.6 clear guys sorted superb let's mark the completion of this particular last topic and which is um, for reduction of the portfolio beta for 0 0.6 only we need to have this particular solution which comes out to be the like 1.89 crores is the overall value which we just derived in our first part multiply it with 0 0.849 okay that is simple okay because the overall portfolio uh, value is only this much which we just calculated in our last segment as 1.60 crores that is something we need to hedge plus n n is the figure that uh, we'll get to know that how much money we need to short how much money uh, worthing, uh, worth uh, nifty futures we need to short in this particular case we need to sell how much so it's gonna be n equals to 1.89 crores multiply with our dream figure which is 0 0.6 in this particular case so your n comes out to be 0 0.471 crores this is the amount that we need to short okay we need to sell our nifty futures worth rupees 0 0.471 crores and then our overall portfolio beta will be reduced to 0 0.6 clear guys sorted with this one it's a very basic equation your overall portfolio size which is as of now multiply it with your overall beta which is as of now plus n that is plus or minus n whichever the case may be in this particular case it was minus because we had to decrease our portfolio okay equals to your overall portfolio value multiply it with your dream figure of beta which is 0 0.6 that was simple fair enough so you come to know about a situation where your uh, you need to sell your nifty futures worth rupees 0 0.471 crores divide it with 5994 which is the realistic uh, theoretical future price multiply it with the lot size which is 200 and you'll come to a figure which is four contracts so you need to sell approximately four contracts in order to reduce your beta to 0 0.6 this was the question which was asked in one of the CA final examination may 2013 i hope you guys got the complete clarity with each and every segment over here so i would really want to ask you guys was it really difficult no absolutely not it's a basically lengthy question okay i won't categorize this one as a very tricky one or a very difficult one it's a very simple question but then it is lengthy okay and the kind of presentation which I have incorporated in this segment is trust me the shortest presentation you'll ever get okay that is the shortest presentation otherwise this question would have like reached to even three pages or four pages of solution so if in case you are exceeding your words and uh, just merely uh, filling up the pages that is certainly of no use so stick to the presentation which I am uh, ensuring that uh, you guys get through this is the presentation will be like definitely accepted by the examiner without any know-how and 
they will be providing the complete marks because you are actually saving their time so save your time in examination and save the examiner's time as well who is going to be like checking your paper if in case you are reducing his time definitely he'll be like very happy that yes you are thorough with your presentation skills and you are ready to become a chartered accountant trust me for this thing so ensure this clear guys sorted with this one i hope now you guys are super confident about the kind of stuff that will be asked in c final examination and definitely you will just bang on once the examination question paper appears in front of you i am sure and i am hopeful about this thing that you must have liked this video if in case you have found this video informative if in case you have liked this video and if in case you know that this video is going to be really useful for your friends then do 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 share it with as many people as you can thank you on behalf of the edupedia world stay connected guys i will see you up in my next presentation till then god bless you all sign up take care bye